Those of us who weren't able to make the trip to St. Louis watched the game from here in Kansas on TV. Many packing in local bars. Cakes Brian Ramsdale was among the black and yellow and shows us the nail biting atmosphere. Neither Kansas team progressed today, unfortunately, but fans were still so excited to see them come out and play that the loss didn't even matter. You can see the disappointment on Lindsay Fry's face. She watched as the Shockers lost by one point in a nail biting ending. Defeat, heartbreak. It was like we, we were not losers. We were winners the whole way. We should have won that. Still, she is very proud of how far the Shockers came. We, we proved it. We proved we could make it. We proved where we were at. We proved we deserved where we need to be. So we got the respect we deserved that we carried it, carried it all the way. But not quite enough. And that proud feeling goes on and on. After the game, I got the first time experience of ever being photobombed by some very proud Shocker fans. Other proud Shocker fans are glad WSU is finally getting the recognition many say they deserve. You got to be proud of them. I mean, even the naysayers maybe learned something today that we deserve to be there. Gist has worked at WSU for over 30 years. He and his family came out to support the Shockers. His final thought? I think it'll take a long time for anybody to top that. Brian Ramsdale, Cake News.